yes, we count on beating the targets. We're very pleased, honestly. Uh, these targets have been set in 19 pre-pandemic, and uh, we feel pride to be uh, in a position at the end of 21 that uh, we can beat the targets uh, uh, by, by December of this year. In terms of the purely financial targets, and I know that there are a lot of other things you're looking at at the company as well, from ESG to transitions for your clients as well, but in terms of the pure financial targets, what is the heavy lifting that still needs to be done within the group, sir? Uh, there is no heavy lifting. I mean, this is the final part of a three-year plan. Um, and uh, all the measures, all the changes uh, that uh, we uh, started doing two years ago uh, will continue delivering the effects. If you look at where we are at the end of 21, uh, we're practically already um, at the targets. Um, and so uh, through this year, we will continue building on that. Um, it's, uh, it's very reassuring for us to see that uh, all the actions that we have been taking over the last many years are producing effects. Um, and I also like to stress the fact that uh, we've been growing the business, uh, I, I would really say fantastically, uh, despite the pandemic. We have more than 2 million net customers growth. This is an impressive uh, achievement, especially considering what the last year has been for all of us uh, around the world. Maria, I'm, I'm actually pouring through the actual report. I haven't got through all 74 pages yet. You'll, you'll, you'll uh, accept my apology for that as well. But I'm looking at your combined ratio <laughs> across the board. And one thing that stands out to me is that the fears of the insurance industry of what the COVID pandemic would do look, according to your data, very misplaced. The insurance sector seems to have done very well, actually, at keeping combined ratios significantly below 100% as well. Do you want to just talk us through what the pandemic did do to Zurich uh, and actually, despite fears, didn't do to uh, Zurich Insurance? Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, you have to consider that a pandemic is an extraordinary event, but uh, what has been hitting the insurance sector over many years uh, in a steady way has been the financial markets uh, and the fact that the interest rates are, uh, have been negative and now are very, very subdued. This forced us uh, to transform our business, reduce the expenses and improve the technical profitability. What the pandemic brought to this uh, was uh, an acceleration. Uh, we reported last year roughly a billion of losses for the pandemic and this year we have a remaining portion of losses from pandemic. Uh, um, we talk about some hundred millions for 2021. Um, so the impact has been considerable, but uh, just uh, uh, limited on two years, uh, 2020 and 2021. The financial market uh, really forced a transformation of our business towards higher technical profits and lower expenses. Mario, it's Karen jumping in. As you talk about the financial backdrop there, can I ask you about interest rates? We've already seen one move by the Bank of England and we're setting up for more moves uh, later on by other central banks, including the Fed and potentially even the ECB in your own uh, backdrop here. What would any move mean for your business? How much more profitable do you think you could be on the back of higher interest rates? Um, it is definitely a support, a help that now we're receiving from the market after so many years of struggles. Uh, so far, we've seen very little movements. Uh, the um, interest rates in Switzerland, in Germany, in the German part of Europe have barely moved positive over the last uh, few days. Um, so we hope that this uh, will remain and possibly reinforce itself and would be definitely f um, a further help for us uh, to beat the targets that we have uh, for the year end. And it's finally a good sign from the financial markets. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.